Instagram. I very rarely am out and about without a whole lot to do. And um, I am having to do some errands kind of up in Flagstaff, Arizona. Grabbing a rental car for my family to get back to the airport tomorrow. And we will be headed back to Minnesota. I'm feeling very sad and conflicted about going home. I'm trusting that Marin will be in good hands here in, Sed well, not here, but down in Sedona after I'm gone. Um, but yeah, so I'm up here today in Flagstaff. I got a ride up with her daughter, whose birthday is today, actually, turning 18, which is very exciting. And she has some stuff she's got to do. So I was just driving around and found myself here in the parking lot of the dorm where I lived my freshman year of college when I was 17. So uh, this is where I went to university and it's bringing back all the feels, just driving around campus and feeling like, what the heck? Like, how can we live so many different lives, you know? And it made me think about, you know, like what I was wanting to do and what my intentions were as a young 17 year old going to school. Um, and I came here wanting to be a political science major at first, but within a semester, um, I decided I wanted to be a women's studies major and, and sociology. I did a double major and I really wanted to figure out like how to make the world a better place. You know, like what is there that needs fixing? What is there that needs support? And how can I be a part of the change in a really positive, cool way. So I feel like that's really what I was trying to figure out here in Flagstaff at NAU. And it's really weird to just like think of myself being probably in this exact same parking spot, showing up here ready to figure out what it's all about to be an adult. Um, so yeah, the dorm that I lived in is behind me and the place where I ate all my meals, all my weird meals, it's like right over there. There's a dumpster over here that I went dumpster diving in, I can recall, at the end of the semester, seeing what kind of good stuff people threw out. <laughs> um, and, yeah, so it was just such a, I guess I just was wanting to reflect on that and also say to all of you, like, you know, what's your dream? It's making me think a lot about, like, what was my dream then? And would that 17-year-old be psyched about what I'm doing as a 31-year-old, you know? And I really do think she would be. I think she'd think it was pretty badass what I'm up to at the moment. So, um, yeah, so it got me thinking about that and just wondering, like, what is what is it that you all dream about? What is it that you all want to do with this, right, one wild, glorious life? And how can we all support each other and inspire each other more? Because life's short and... I was thinking, like, that was 14 years ago. Whoa. And, like, 14 years from now, I'll be 45. And, like, what will I be doing then? And how do we make choices every day that add up to something really cool and um, positive to leave our kids and grandkids? So, um, I also went and got myself a Macy's special. If you've ever been to Flagstaff and you've had a Macy's special, you know they are delicious. And I've been wanting one for years. I think we came up, Marin and I, once a couple, uh, two years ago. But it was a quick trip up to Flag, so we didn't have time to do anything too exciting. Um, I think we did get some dinner, but I've been wanting one for literally years. And this totally makes me think of the first week that I was here. Again, as a 17-year-old, which is crazy to think about. Um, and they took us all around town and showed us Flagstaff and had us do a little project trying to get to know the town. And at the end of the day, <clears throat> I think this was before school even started, it was like part of the orientation for the Honors College, and at the end of the day, we wound up at Macy's, and I remember getting a Macy's special and sitting in the window and feeling like, I've really made it. Like, I'm an adult, and this is really cool, <laughs> and I'm in a coffee shop, and I bought my own coffee, probably on my parents' credit card, but who knows. Um... And so I had to go get one and bought one and sat there and was like, man, it's, it's like the feeling of newness and excitement about like anything being possible 
and being on like a grand new adventure and yeah it feels like maybe that's true now too it could be true every day right so cheers and if you're ever in Flagstaff you've got to get yourself a Macy's special which my coffee roasting partner might argue is not the best coffee but there is something so delicious and nostalgic and magical about it for me so um so yeah I just uh, have been thinking a lot about like what's the next chapter look like and um you know how to how to keep doing things that will make 31 year old me proud in another 15 years so really though I'd love to hear from all of you like what is it that you're working on. A lot of you are birth people, but a lot of you are not. Some of you are just interested in birth, but are really into other places where we can make a positive impact and um, make the world a way cooler place to live in. So I'd love to hear sort of what's on all of your minds and what kind of projects you have going on and how we can support you. And um, yeah, because I have, I have big dreams, big visions. And I guess that was the other thing that I was reflecting on. And then I'll probably be done here with this live. But um, is just, you know, like that spirit of youth and the feeling like anything is possible. I feel like I've retained that in a lot of ways. Like I'm a pretty imaginative person um, and really do believe anything is possible and that we are capable of creating something amazing here on Earth. Um but there's something about youth, right, that makes it feel even more possible because you haven't quite been exposed to a lot of the crap that goes along with being an adult. Or maybe it doesn't have to go along with it, but it does seem to. So just wanted to, to share that and say I hope you all kind of dig into your younger selves and reflect back on that too. And and I'd love to hear hear your thoughts. But that's it from me. I'm going to eat my chocolate croissant. That's what I always got on the way to school, um, especially when I was on my way to Navajo class that I went to for a year. Um, I would ride my blue cruiser bike and I'd stop at Macy's and get a Macy's special and a chocolate croissant and eat it at class. So I'm going to sit here and enjoy that and I hope you all have a beautiful Saturday and do something nostalgic too.